good day once again welcome to my channel consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials in today's lesson i'm going to show you how to fix the http error 500 on your wordpress website this error is very common on a wordpress website and i'm going to walk you through how to fix this error okay first of all we need to first identify what is causing this error whether it's going to be a plugin a team or any other errors so you first need to first identify this error then you know how to fix it you can't just go ahead and fix this error if i want to access the login page of my wordpress website this isn't working so i'm going to walk you through how to identify and fix this error so the first thing is to open your control panel and by now i know you know how to access your control panel anytime you buy your hosting okay so i'm in my c panel now and i first want to identify this error then i can go ahead and fix it so in order to do that i'll go into my c panel and then i need to open my file manager so just open your file manager as it is and then locate the wordpress folder you want to resolve this issue on so just click on the file manager and then go through the list of the site that is giving you that particular error and in this case that website is kd online this is it i'll just open this file and within the list of folders i first need to identify this error so i'll go to the error underscore log just open this just view this and just try to view the last error you have okay so i'll just move the scroll bar all the way to the in this particular list i've traced the last error and then the time which is 16 april 2022 and i've traced the roots of this particular error and i realized that it's within the functions.php online 240 and this is on that's the wp dash includes folder on my ph on my website folder so meaning this is the main reasons why i'm getting this error on my site so it has nothing it has nothing to do with my plugins okay so in this case if i come back here that means the error is within this particular folder so the best way you can do this is to download a new wordpress a wordpress from wordpress.org okay just go to wordpress.org slash download and then try downloading a fresh a fresh wordpress okay so the current version as i'm doing this video is 5.9.3 so this is what i'm going to do. just click on download i have already downloaded this so if i go to my download folder i see i have it over here so what next do you do just open this folder and locate the that's the wp dash includes that is where you have the error just right click and then select that right click and then add to archives make sure you zip this so i've already done that so this is a file i have and what i want to do is to replace this in my c panel okay because this is where the error is coming from and i can't go maybe you don't have experience with coding and you can't go line by line and go to line 240 to resolve this issue so the best is to replace the wp include folder remember your files your teams and everything is within the wp content so you don't have any problem replacing the wp the wp dash includes so what i need to do is first to rename this so right click and then go to rename just add one to it just rename this as you can see if you're using a file manager you can go ahead and then transfer it but if you are somebody using namecheap and i'm going to leave a link at the description if you want to buy namecheap and host your files over there i don't have any problem with them they are not sponsoring this video but i just want to recommend them for you they are very safe to use both their domain names and the hosting platform okay so what you need to do is that you can just go to the namecheap website and then try buying a hosting and then domain name so once you rename this you can go ahead and click on upload so you're going to upload the new wp includes and then use to replace that one so just, so just drag this just drag it and drop it here and just wait for this to upload it's going to upload it's going to upload and then i'll show you what to do next so 
name chip allow you to upload up to 36.1 gig so once the wp dash include files that's the zip file is uploaded successfully you show it's going to show 100 percent green just close this and go back to your file manager just reload this and it's going to show the zip file will be shown within your files over so you can see in my case i have it down here just right click right click and then what extract we're going to extract it into our main root directory for our website just do that okay and you can see i have it over here so let's try loading our website back and see if this is going to work so i'll come back to my website and then just click on reload this is going to take some time to load since you are resolving this for the first time and let's see this is going to work and that's amazing you can see our issue has been successfully resolved so that means in this case we can go ahead and log in onto our website now and we can start working so let me just click on login and it's going to work perfectly okay so after clicking on that i'm now on my wordpress what dashboard so this issue has been resolved we can click on visit site and this will take us to the site with no issue so this is one of the easiest way you can resolve that one of the easiest way you can resolve this particular error there so you can see we can now assess our sites everything is working well so if not the best this is the easiest way to resolve http error 500 so we've been able to resolve our site we can log in and then go ahead with our normal duties thank you so much for watching this tutorial remember to like subscribe for more tips more techniques i have a whole series coming up on wordpress how to create create a own website from scratch any type of website from e-commerce all the way to just a basic website i'm going to walk you through how to do that so remember to like subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification box you don't miss any of my updates and my uploads Thank you so much till we meet again. Bye-bye.